Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And while this other video is loading on how to make a 3D ribbon, I started thinking you could almost, and this maybe would help uh, laser engravers, under your polygon tool, basic shapes, and Corel 19 is called common shapes, you can pick a batter and then make a batter like that. And then we're going to do the same thing we did for the 3D. And this particular one, you could fill it in and nudge it out of the way. Fill it in, nudge it out of the way. I'm not going to do the other part, the little edges. And then grab your interactive fill tool. And it's, click, it's doing the last one I clicked, so you need to select that one. Interactive fill tool. And it's a little problem right there. Let's go eyedropper tool and go back to our lighter blue like we had a while ago. Put OK. And then you can move this thing a little further. Move the slide bar back. And if you wanted them equal, you don't have to do this one. You could use this one. Control D, make a duplicate of it. Flip it around and move it on top of that one. And then I would go ahead and nudge it up and nudge this one up. Get rid of that one. Now in this blue, you could really keep it all blue. And then you'd want to do these little behind parts. Let's just fill them in with blue. That doesn't look half bad. Kind of gives an effect. So what I was... A laser engraver, you could actually do this with a gray. Let's just move that down. Let's go to the interactive fill tool. But this time, I'll tell you what, let's zoom in. Interactive fill tool and fill that in. But let's change this color to... Sometimes Corel 19 is having trouble, or I'm having trouble with it, picking these colors on this slide bar. And then you can move this one a little further out. That looks pretty good. That's going to give it a good look. And then that one's backwards. No, it's not. There we go. And you can do the same thing, and that will, of course, I'm, yeah, that looks pretty good. And then I would actually remove that one, control D on that one, duplicate, mirror it, holding down the control button, and put it right in place. And you could do the same thing on this one. You know, maybe, um, I'll tell you what, let's do this, let's, Nudge that one out of the way, and we'll get rid of that one. And let's use our interactive field. Of course, you wouldn't. This really wants to be all one color, you know. But we could double click on that and pick a black, and move the slide bar. You can move your color so it goes off the edge. So really, on the front one, I don't know if you'd want to do that. It does give it a neat effect. And then you could change this out for black. Of course, you lose some definition there. It doesn't look as good. So let's change it to a gray. That's too much gray. Remember which one you did and do the same thing on this one. That doesn't look that bad. I would maybe not do this. Um... I would maybe make that solid black. And let's see what it looks like solid black. Maybe make it a little bit less black. There we go. And then, once you move around, well, you could left click and make your outline black. Kind of make that stand out. And then you could write something in there, you know. And like before, Control G and group that together. You could grab the envelope tool. 
and do the same thing we did before, you could change the whole thing, make it a completely looking different looking ribbon. That's pretty cool. I maybe wouldn't have that much white on the end, but this could be possibly laser engraved. It's not going to detect too much of the difference, but it would make a nice ribbon. And if you were starting out, control D and make a duplicate. You know, there's a lot you could do with that. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.